important question. Angular bisectors are concurrent using vector method we have to prove. So that's a very important one. Prove by vector method that the internal bisectors of the angles of a triangle are concurrent. What's the meaning of concurrent? Concurrent means uh, passing through the same point. That would be called as concurrent. First, to do this sum, what are the results you need? So this is carefully. So first, what you need? Basic representation of a triangle. Suppose ABC is a triangle. A's opposite side, we take it as small a. B's opposite, we take it as small b. And C's opposite, we take it as what? Small c. So these are the some basic uh, representations. In a triangle ABC, these are angle A, angle B, angle C. A's opposite, take it as A, small a. B's opposite, small b. And C's opposite, small c. Then you know angle bisector theorem. ABC is a triangle. For this angle A, you draw a bisector. That is, you are dividing into two equal parts. Let it meet a D. Then what result you can say? AB by AC is equal to BD by DC. AB by AC. AB by AC is equal to BD by DC. So this is basic proposal, sorry, angle bisector theorem. Okay, so you know what is angle bisector theorem. Then another thing, what is in center? What is in center? Point of intersection of angle bisectors. For this angle, you draw a bisector. For this angle, you draw another bisector. They meet at some point, that point is called what? In center. Okay. And you need just one more result. Suppose four numbers are in proportion A by B equal to C by D. Whatever change you give in the left side, similar change you give it to the right side. Suppose you are writing A by A plus B. Then in the right side also gives a similar change. What do you write? Left side you written A by A plus B. Then here you write C by C plus D. This we call it as component rule. A by A plus B is equal to what? C by C plus D. Okay, like this. But even for minus. A by A minus B, then you write what C by C minus B. Suppose you write A plus B by A minus B. Then you can write the right side as C plus B by C minus B. That is called component row dividend row. Okay, in our sum we use this also. Then section formula, you are familiar with that. Section formula. What is section formula? Suppose A is a point, B is another point, the position vectors are OA and OB. P is a point, it divides the ratio, say M is to N. Then the position vector of P, that is OP vector is equal to M into OB vector plus N into OA vector by M plus N for internal division. AB, the position vector is OA and OB. P is a point, it divides in the ratio M is to N. Then the position vector of P is M into, when you take M, you go to the other end. M into B vector plus N into A vector by M plus N. So with these ideas, we are going to do this sum. Okay, it's a very simple one, but at the same time, it's very important. Listen, prove by vector method the internal bisectors of the internal bisector of angles of a triangle are concurrent. Concurrent means they pass through the same point. So listen, we take one triangle. ABC is a triangle. A is opposite A, B is opposite B, and C is opposite C. First, you draw one bisector. We draw one bisector. For angle A, we draw a bisector. For angle A, you draw a bisector. Let it meet a B. Then, by angle bisector theorem, what can you say? AB by AC is equal to BD by DC. AB by AC is equal to BD by DC. Substitute the known values. AB value, you know, C. AC value also, you know, B. So, C by B. C by B equal to BD by DC. So, you know, BD by DC. BD by DC is C by B. That means, D divides BC in the ratio C is to B. So, use section formula. B, the position vector is OB vector. C position vector OC vector, 
deposition vector O D vector. Ratio is instead of M is to N, it is C is to B. So O D vector is equal to C into O C vector plus B into O B vector by C plus B. You can write anything first. If I take C, go to the other end. If I take B, come this end. So I am writing like this. B into O D vector is B into O B vector plus C into O C vector by B plus C. So that is O D vector. O D vector is equal to B into O B vector plus C into O C vector by B plus C. That is one important class. So take it as equation number one. Now, one more thing. The component that we use here. B D by B D plus B C. B D by B D plus B C. B D by B D plus B C is left side is C by C plus B. C by C plus B. B D by, see the diagram B D plus B C. B D plus B C means the full length B C. B D plus B C is what? B C. And the B C length is what? A. B C. And that B C can be replaced by what? A. So B D by A is equal to C by B plus C. From here, you can find B D. B D is equal to what? A will go there. So A C by B plus C. So that is what's number 2. So B D is equal to A C by B D is equal to A C by B plus C. Now, you draw the second bisector. For angle B, you draw a bisector. Let it meet the previous bisector as, this is called in center. We take that as what? I1. So, draw the angle bisector of angle B, which means AD at what? I1. Now, in this triangle, ABD, this triangle, we use angle bisector theorem. AB by BD is equal to a I1 by I1. You don't see this part. You take only this triangle. This angle a bisector. So A B by B D is equal to A I1 by I1 D. Substitute the values A B. A B value C. By B D already got it. B D value is A C by B plus C. So using the result number 1. Sorry, result number 2. So AB value C by BD value AC by B plus C is equal to AI1 by I1. Here the C cancel. B plus C will go up. So AI1 by I1 is B plus C by A. So now you are getting a ratio AI1, AI1 by I1 D. Listen. AI1, I1 D. AI1 by I1 D is a I1 by I1 D is B plus C by A. So this is B plus C, this is A, the ratio. So once again you apply section formula here. A position to O A, D position to O D, I1 position to O I1. Ratio is this one. So you can say O I1 is A into O A vector. A into O A vector plus B plus C into O D vector by add it. A plus B plus C. Listen again. O I1 is A into O A vector plus B plus C into O D vector by A plus B plus C. That's what you are getting here. O I1 is equal to O I1 is equal to A into O A. A into O A vector plus B plus C into O D. B plus C into O D divided by and A plus B plus C. This O D vector, you know the value. O D vector is B O B plus C O C by uh, B plus C. That value is substitute for O D. So O I1 is equal to, instead of OD you substitute that, now we can cancel this B plus C. So you are getting O I1 is equal to A O A plus B O B plus C O C by A plus B plus C. Two angle bisectors, angle bisector of A and B, they are meeting at I1 and I1 position vector we got it. Similarly, you can find the bisector of the point of intersection of other bisectors, B and C, C and A. We can prove they also represent the same point. No need to prove that, just to say. Similarly, we can prove other angle bisectors also meet at the same point. And we finally say it can prove. Listen one more time. So ABC is a triangle. A is opposite side A. B is opposite B. C is opposite C. First, you draw the first bisector. And A you draw a bisector. AB by AC is equal to BD by DC. Substitute the known values, you are getting a ratio. Using section formula, you can find OD. OD vector is BOB 
plus C O C by B plus C. Then using common rule, B D by B D plus B C is C by C plus B. So B D plus B C, B D plus B C is what? B C it is same as A, and from that you are getting B D also. Now we draw the second bisector, B I one. You can say A B by B D is equal to A I one by I one D. Substitute the values, you will get the ratio, and from that you can find O I one. Similarly, you can do the other two also same, and you can say angle bisectors are concurrent. Next, we are going to study coplanar. What's the meaning of coplanar? The vectors lie in the same plane or parallel. That is called coplanar. Okay. So there are two types of questions in coplanar. In one type, they will give three sides. Three sides are given, and they ask you to do the three sides of coplanar. Another one, they may give points. In this case, four points given. Show that the points given by. One, two, three, four. Four points given. They asked to prove the four points are coplanar. So what do you do? Using the four points, you frame three vectors. First, you take the points as O A vector, O B vector, O C vector, and O D vector. The four points are named like this. Now you find any three vectors. For example, you find A B vector, B C vector, C D vector. All the four must be covered. Or You take AB vector, AC vector, AD vector. Here I am taking AB vector, AC vector, and AD vector. What is AB vector? OB minus OA. OB minus OA. Do the subtraction part very carefully. If you make a small mistake here, totally it's wrong. So be very careful in this calculation. Even if you take some time, doesn't matter. Do it very carefully. Listen. One way, uh, without making any mistake, look okay, here. AB vector is OB minus OA. First, you write OB vector. What is OB vector? Minus J minus K. Minus J minus K. Then minus of OA. This is OA vector. We want minus of OA, so change the sign throughout. So what you get? Minus 4A minus 5J minus K. Now simplify this. I only one term. Minus 4A minus 6J. Minus k minus k is what minus 2k. You can do directly also OB minus OA zero minus 4a minus j minus 5k minus k minus k. You can do that, but see that you are not making any mistake. That is AB vector. Next I am finding AB, then AC, then AD. AB vector we got it. Now we find AC vector. What is AC vector? OC minus OA. Same method. OC vector we write first. Minus of O A minus of O A change the sign and simplify you get this and A D vector. So we are finding like this A B vector, A C vector, A D vector. All the three you find. Now the condition for coplanar is one vector is the linear combination of other two. One vector is the linear combination of other two. What's the meaning? A B vector is some scalar in the A C vector plus some other scalar in the A D vector. So AB vector is L into AC vector plus M into AD vector. AB vector is L into AC vector plus M into AD vector. We want to see whether this relation exists. Can you find some L and M which satisfy the equation? That's what we are going to do now. Substitute the values AB vector. Substitute the value AC vector value and AD vector value is substitute L into the AC vector. Put a bracket here. M into AD vector. Now. Equating the coefficients of i, j, k. Here i coefficient is minus four. Here i coefficient is minus l. Here i coefficient is minus eight m. So the first equation is minus l minus eight m equal to minus four. First equation. Now equate j coefficient. Here what is j coefficient? Minus six. Here j coefficient is four l minus one into m minus m. So 4l minus m equal to minus 6. Same way k coefficient minus 2 equal to 3l plus 3m. So you are getting three equations in l and m. Solve any two. 
for example, you solve 1 and 2, find L and M, that value is substituted in the third and check whether it satisfies. Or solve 2 and 3, if you solve 2 and 3, that value is substituted in the first, you check whether it satisfies or not. Here I am solving 1 and 2, simultaneous equation, solving 1 and 2, make L coefficient same, here 4, here minus 1. So first equation multiply by 4, first equation multiply by 4, minus 4L minus 32M equal to minus 16. Second equation write as it is, now add it because minus 4L plus 4L. When you add these two, L cancel, minus 33M, minus 32 minus M, minus 33M equal to minus 22. Cancel minus on both sides, 33M is 22, M equal to 22 by 33, so M equal to cancel by 11 table, 2 by 3. M value you got it, we are solving 1 and 2, so that the M value is substituted either in first or in second. So here I am substituting the second equation, M value 2 by 3, 4L minus 2 by 3 equal to minus 6. So 4L equal to minus 6 plus 2 by 3, 4L equal to take 3 as LCM, minus 18 plus 2, so it is minus 16 by 3, 4L is minus 16 by 3, so L is, the so 4 has to go down. Minus 16 by 3, this 4 will come down. 4 and 16 we cancel. 4 and 16 we cancel 4. So minus 4 by 3, that is L value. We solved 1 and 2. You got the values of L and L. That value is solved 1 and 2. So that value is substituted in the third equation. You take the LHS of third equation. LHS of third equation. 3L plus 3L. So check whether you are getting minus 2. 3L plus 3M. So 3 into L value plus 3 into that M value. So here 3, 3 cancel. 3 and 3 cancel. Here also 3 and 3 cancel. Minus 4 plus 2 it is minus 2. Yes, you are supposed to get minus 2. So the relation exists. If you are not getting minus 2, suppose you are getting 7. You say which is not equal to minus 2 and you say the relation does not exist. In that case we say the points are not coplanar. But here it satisfies, so we say this relation exists. For L and M, we give the values. So AB vector is equal to L. Instead of L, you write minus 4 by 3. AB is equal to L into AC vector plus M. M value 2 by 3 in the AD vector exists. So this relation exists. So we say the three, the given four points are coplanar. Listen again. Four points given. You find any two vectors. Sorry, any three vectors, AB vector, AC vector, AD vector, then one vector is the linear combination of other two, substitute the values, equate the coefficients of i, j, k, three equations, solve one and two, you get the values of L and L, substitute the third equation, check whether you are getting minus two. Yes, here the condition satisfies, so you say the relation exists, the given points are coplanar. Sometimes, they won't give points, they give vectors. Suppose three vectors are given, then what do you do? Very simple. If three vectors are given, name them as A vector, B vector, C vector. If you take the three vectors as what? A vector, we don't need to do all these calculations. The given three vectors, name it as A vector, B vector, C vector. Then you write A vector is equal to L, B vector plus L, C vector. Then you proceed with the same method. Okay? Hope you understood.